Hey guys, welcome to Interview Nest. So today we're gonna try to solve this problem. How to remove duplicate values from an array. And it's an interview question. It's a level one interview questions. Interviewer would ask you to gauge uh, how much do you know, you know, the basics of the array. And that's why they would ask you the question before asking tough questions. Now, first thing I would say that uh, there are multiple answer to this, Mo just like most algorithms, there is not a one uh, solution. And we're gonna look at uh, more like a brute force approach, then using a different data structure, and then a JavaScript uh, trick to write in a single line of code. So let's get started. I've asked this question many times in an interview, and a few of those people, they have just um, started coding without even understanding the and then they end up writing how to find duplicate values inside the array rather than how to remove duplicate values from the array. So always uh, pay attention to what your interviewer says. Uh, try, to, try to then confirm with them. So for example, I would do something like this. So I would say, let's say if I have an array like this, okay, and it has one, two, five, two, one, one, and um, eight or something like this. Right? Now, do you mean that when I remove the duplicates, um, I would have one, two, five, and eight? Okay. Uh, do I need to preserve the order in this here? Can I just reorder things, you know, things like that? Um, and that would give the interviewer confidence in you that this guy actually listens and interacts before starting uh, his or her work. So that's the, the main thing. So let's start with a brute, brute force algorithm. A brute force algorithm would be a simplest way to do it. One way to do it is uh, have a, a separate array. So I can have a let B. And what I can do is I can go to each item in the array and then see if I have re visited this before. And how can I find out if I visited this before? Uh, as soon as I visit one, so let's say if I visit one, I would uh, push it into array B. Then I visit two. Then I would push it that into an array B. Then I visit five. Then I would push five into array. Then I would revisit two. Now again, I check inside B. If, if it's there, then I'm not gonna push it. Um, again, I'm gonna check one, it's not there it's uh, still there so I'm not gonna push it and then I'll have eight and I'll push it eight and so I have my I don't really have to remove it from here I can create a new array which would have only unique value start with a for loop so I can say let I equal to zero make sure that you do let I inside if I just do I then it creates a global variable which we don't want and I could say I is less than a dot L E and G T H length. Again, you can do the length here, but I would recommend doing it here. That is because if I do it like this, on every iteration, it recalculates a length, which is more expensive. And since you are trying to explain the algorithm, you want to do the best algorithm possible. So, um, you need to explain this to say, I can say let len equal to um, a dot length. Okay, and then I can just use len here. So that would be a little faster. And I plus plus. If b dot index of a i, which means if we find AI into, remember I said, we are gonna check B to see if it's there before pushing it. So that's what we, do, uh, we are doing here. Um, if this is equal to minus one, usually when you call index off, if you can't find it, it returns minus one. So that's what it is. And if it's not there, then simply push into it, push A, I and that's all we need to do because let's say if you find it then you don't have to do anything so in the end B would have all the values that you needed all the unique values 
So if I do console log B, um, this should have all the values. So if I run this, I would get one, two, five, and eight. Uh, so it works. Now, what's the complexity of this algorithm? Because for the length of the array, uh, for each element, we are trying to go through the entire length again because we are checking inside B to see if, if it's there, right? So it's n square, which is, or close to n square, right? Which is kind of highest. So now let's look at the solution where you have a little lower. So one thing we can do, if your interviewer doesn't care about the order of the array, so I have, this is not in order. So if I simply sort it, and um, let's say, if I remove all this stuff, I need length. So I'm just gonna remove here. So what I can do is I can say a dot uh, sort, and that would make the array something like this. So one, uh, one, two, two, five, and eight, all right? Now, here, I don't need to have an extra array to track things. I can have a simple variable which uh, tracks um, if I have previously encountered this because since they're there order, right? And so let's do it here. So I still have to write a for loop. You can use a while loop as well. And here I can have a variable called temp. So I can say lat underscore temp, okay? And here what I will do is I will check if, if I have encountered this value inside temp. So I can say if a i underscore temp, uh, sorry, if it's not equal to. So if I haven't encountered it before, then I would make temp the AI. And I also need to uh, b dot push AI. So if it's never there, then I'm just gonna push it. But I'm not comparing um, each value with B. Again, I'm just pushing it here, right? And so if I run this, I would get the same result, okay? So the complexity is here, uh, if you know if you're using uh, quick sort, then the complexity, well, the quick sort will be log n, and then you have to go through uh, each element, so like plus n. So it's much less than n squared complexity. Now, if I'm using Java, I would use a hash table, but since uh, JavaScript doesn't provide hash tables, I can use such a JavaScript object to do this. So I would just create a JavaScript object, which is an empty object, and then, I can use for off loop. So I can say for let i of a. If you don't know what a for off loop is, um, I have a tutorial on iterators. I can provide a link here uh, that would help you. But it's much better than uh, for off, uh, for each or for a regular for loop. So i would be the value, not the index here. And so all I, uh, all I need to do now is I can say object equal to true. Now, what does it really mean? So this is an object, right? So it has a key and value. So I'm setting key to the value of the uh, array. And the value of this object should be always true. So if I simply print this out, let's say object, you would see what is going on here. All right, so you can see something like this. Because the key has to be unique, it won't store anything that is duplicate. So it's automatically storing uh, only key that are unique. So I, I already have kind of a, uh, a unique, but it's not an array, it's an object, right? And the value is true. So how do I get the array back from here? So there is a, a neat way to do it. So I can say object dot keys, and I can pass the object and that should give me all the keys from here. And I can call it let b equal to this. And if I now print b, then I should see all the unique values. So here I'll see one, two, five, and eight. So this is pretty nice, and it's actually much faster. Uh, the 
complexity of this, I believe, is n. All right, last but not least, I want to do this in one line. So, how do I do this? So, JavaScript ES2016 has introduced a new data type in JavaScript called set. And the way it works is um, I can say let um, b set equal to uh, new. I have to use a constructor and I can say set. Now, what is the speciality of set? Set only stores unique values by default. So if I pass this array A, it should only store unique values. So I would get a set with only unique values. So if I console log B set, I should get the unique values. But I'm getting a set. I'm not getting an array back. So you can see it has entries and all that stuff. So how do I get the arrays back? So um, let's remove this. And if you know the spread operator, so if I simply put square bracket around it and put dot, 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 then this should convert the set into an array. If you don't know what the set, uh, spread operator is and how to use it uh, properly, I have a tutorial on it. I'll provide a link here. And all I have to do is just console log this. So let's look at it. That should give me an array back. So it does. So this is a one line solution. I think this is the best solution. Um, and also previous solution also fine. So you can pick and choose. So I hope you learned something from this uh, tutorial. If you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.